Get up here with me. Some good Are you recording yet? Yeah, I'm recording, dude. Okay. Josh, my buddy Josh, got him a new guitar today. This is the LTD Deluxe MH1000. So this is Korean made. It was made in 2006. If you look at your serial number on Korean models, the W represents the factory that it was constructed in. And 06, the first two digits are your, are your year model. This is a 06, 2006. For the fretboard, we have rosewood. That is definitely rosewood. That's not Jatoba, that's not Rich Light, it's definitely Rosewood. Mother of Pearl, all around the body, and up and down the neck, and the headstock, and then white binding all the way around the guitar. The pickups are Seymour Duncan, I'm gonna assume this is a 59 and JB combo. String through Brody, with Tinematic Bridge. Master volume, master tone, three-way pickup selector. The top is quilted maple top. The back is mahogany. Be careful. Neck through. Neck through construction means there's no bolt on here. This neck goes all the way through and ends right here where this line is. Then they glue the size to it. The cap goes over top. And the fret ends, you can't feel the fret ends. 24 fret, 25 and a half inch scale. It's got a compensated nut for better tuning stability and better intonation. And it's got Spurzel locking tuners. You can, I mean, I don't have good lighting in here, but you can, you can kind of see them. Those are a life saver for changing strings and keeping you in tune. And we got a case with it, too. The case here is... An MBT case that is form fit for most, most of the double-cut guitars, the Strat-style guitars. So now, since we are plugged up... And we still got the 51... It's going through a 5152 EVH. We forgot what year those came out, but... Early 90s. Yeah. So we'll click on the clean... Clean? Set it up on clean. And we'll go through some sounds. This is tuned drop D, drop D down one step, which is drop C. With uh, Ernie Ball 11 to 54, beefy slinky. This is the neck. That thing sounds like a beast in drop C. It really does. And now we will go to distortion channel. That ain't it. That's it. This is the net.
yeah, man, this thing, wow. The weight is probably about six, six and a half pounds. And it's not very heavy. It's nice and comfortable when you're standing up. There's no neck dive to it where it goes this way. It's perfectly balanced. Even if you had this down to your knees, you can still play it comfortably if that's what you choose to do. For beginners, it's not good for you to be slumped over like this trying to do your stuff because it's going to kill your back. And once you get into, into a band and you start playing shows over the course of six months of doing that, you might need some back surgery. I don't know how Monkey and Head do it. I really don't know how they do it. But now, I guess, we can do some jamming on it a little bit. $416. This is about a $1,300 guitar <coughs> if you were to buy this new. And now they come with Floyds on them, they come with Evertune, locking tuners, non locking tuners. Wasn't that the MH you was telling me about before I bought it? Yeah. That was the one? That's the one I was telling you about last night. Yeah. We went down to Music Go Around and they had it on their website for $4.99. But when we got down there, it was 416 on the That was 419 This was 499 on their website. Okay. But man, like, could you need anything else for a drop C? I mean, my Prestige has everything this has. Fixed bridge, locking tuners, the Marzio pickups, not seen more Duncan. But for a drop C machine, you don't need anything else. This is, this is it. But man, go out and pick you guys up one of these. If you can find them used, grab them up. Because the 06 stuff, they don't make them like this anymore. I don't think ESP is using Rosewood anymore. I think they're all ebony now on the fretboards. This has jumbo frets. It's not medium jumbo. These are jumbo. They may be. Actually, they may be medium jumbo. I believe that's what they are. If we haven't looked at the specs on this, I mean, I'm just taking a, a look at it here, and that's what it appears to be. And they also don't do this anymore. This has the model number at the 12th fret. The MH1000 Deluxe. Nowadays, they put the model up on the truss rod cover. And these, the necks, usually very damn stable because it's mahogany. If you ever have to adjust the neck, you take out this one screw at the top. This cover comes off. There's a Allen wrench. It's usually about a four to five millimeter Allen wrench. You turn it right, tighten it, turn it left to loosen it, depending on how your, your neck is bowing. But I don't think you'd have to do that on this. And the intonation is slightly off because we changed it from Diodero in standard to Ernie Ball in drop C. So now the bridge is went, what the hell's happened? But you take a little screwdriver, you adjust these screws, get the saddles where they need to be, and she'll be a perfectly good metal machine. <laughs> Come on, they're going out a little bit. 
bit because the strings are still stretching out, but they keep you in rock solid, too. You guys enjoyed the review of this instrument this is great i'd buy one myself if i had the money but it's hard for me to walk away from my prestige i've been asked for the win but this is my second favorite brand esp that's what made me want to play guitar it's what got josh wanting to play guitar hetfield's ec models Kirk hammett's m2 and uh, Doc in Dallas from God Forbid is what made me want to play guitar more. I mean, they're the reason why I got the uh, the 5152. I heard their album Constitution, I think it's a Constitution of Reason, and the the riffing on that album and the way the tone is is so awesome. It made me want to get a 51 a 5152, and you know they. Well, back when God Forbid was a band, they played ESP guitar, especially uh, Doc and Dallas are like two of my favorites. I like Dallas's guitar because his was the uh, the uh, the D the DV eight. The DV8. Yeah, he the he, play, he played the DV eight, and the dude, they they made him sound cool. That's what made me want to get back into playing guitar. Really, check it out, guys, on these amps on the PVs. Ready to crank your volume up? It'll give you the. But you still got your nice distortion. Then you want to go full power? We gotta play, we gotta play a few riffs, a few drop C riffs that are like iconic riffs. heaviest album if you were around in 2004 this is the heaviest album to ever hit the shelves and if you didn't pick it up you weren't cool <laughs> let's not hate on saint anger come on i i, I liked it Oh, there goes the dip spit. No, it's just a piece of it. Uh, it let me... Oh, you did, did it again. <laughs> you did it again. This is a... Uh, oh, hold on. Again. Let this me... Yeah, that wasn't planned. And this pl not planned either. Let, let, me, let me see it, dude. Let's I want to... I want you to film me playing. And Let's let Josh have a go on it. Since it's his guitar, you know. 
I can't hog it all. But I went over the specs for him. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have no neck dive. Yeah, no none neck of that, dives, dude. None of that. There's good old Josh. You don't get to see him very much on the channel. Damn nice guitar, man. Oh no. Oh no. It's twice each. guitar genius I don't know a lot about guitars but what I do know is I know somewhat of good tone when I hear it and it took me forever to find the tone the perfect tone for this amp and it even sounds nice and standard but I don't know it just makes this amp just makes drop C sound more you hear the feedback yeah <laughs> it just makes it sound more brutal more duck and pickups, dude. And you would talk. Oh, and we I do have another riff for you guys. I butchered that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the best album in the world, guys. <laughs> All right, let's give him a nice close-up shot of the guitar. Let's go all the way from the headstock, right there is where it says Deluxe. And you go all the way down this thing, dude. Look at that. 
Oh, Look and at show that the pearl, man. show him the tuner I got. That is so cool, dude. If I'd have had the money, I would have bought it, but I couldn't afford to spend <laughs> it. Oh yeah, he did get. Uh, where is it? It's right there at the TV. He also got this thing here, the little snark tuner. Great little tuner, dude. Very accurate, even for low pitches. And they're only twenty bucks. Pick you up one. They clip on the end of your headstock. And they pick up the vibration of your instrument to let you know if you're in tune or not. These stains are freaking cool. Oh, and, and one more little iconic riff. Iconic. Iconic. Just, this is an iconic riff. It's six and five, Josh. That is six and five. No, it's not. That's seven and eight. And it's backwards. Then at six goes first. That one? Six and five, right here. Right there and there. Oh, oh. Six goes first. There you go. But dude, man, if you were going to get this as like your first drop C instrument or your only drop C instrument, I would say definitely go and go for it. No doubt. His penis. But, but that riff sounded kind of <laughs> cool, actually. Play it again, but you can't do it. Great little guitar, dude. Thank you, guys. But yeah, man, I think we'll end it here. That's pretty damn awesome. Go out and pick up one of these things, dude. Even best, if you have to buy it new. Best decision I've made, like, guitar-wise. And I honestly, like, get bored with certain guitars real quickly. Excuse me, guys. Mm. That's my problem. That's why I got nine. I, of them. I get I get bored <laughs> with certain guitars real easily, but this one, you you really can't. I don't a, know a, what an 06 model. You really can't beat it, dude. I don't know what this finish is called. 
I think it's sunburst. It's a quilted maple top. I think it's sunburst, though. But I, it's not a burst finish, is it? Is it? I think it Maybe is. Maybe it's look some at the, kind uh, of like koa. Look at the uh, the thing right there. The Let's the see. Yeah, there. let's see if the tag that we got with the guitar. All right, bro. Has I'm turning this off. I can't even read it. Does it have it on it? $416 MH Deluxe. Nah. Oh, it says Sunburst. Sunburst. But yeah, man. There you go, guys. It's a great guitar, man. Great guitar. <laughs> that was cool. I wasn't even trying to make it her mind. All right. Thank you guys for listening, even though that I'm not as good as Jeff, but I need to give myself a little bit of more credit. Uh, some of my friends say that I'm a decent guitar player, which I'll take decent. I'll take decent over great anyway. I'm a shit guitarist. Oh, but still, I take decent over <laughs> greatness any day. I'd rather be decent than great. At least, uh, at least I can hold a riff decently down. great. Decently great. There you go. I can like hold a riff down. There you go. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, subscribe for more if you feel the need. <laughs>